Hello everyone, I'm Zilla and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a continuation or part two of my Gucci belt unboxing video. So if you haven't already watched that video, please pause this video and take a moment to go and watch that video. But before I get into this video, I'd like to ask you to please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already subscribed and press the little bell so you can be notified every time I upload a video. Also, you can follow me on Instagram for fashion inspiration. I'm Style Queen Zilla. Today's video is going to be my winter haul over 40 and Gucci belt styling. I have recently done a haul. I've purchased some new items and I thought they would be perfect for winter. But I guess these are clothes that you could wear in spring as well. I bought two blazers and I bought a skirt. And there's other tops I bought, but I thought for this video, I just like to keep it brief and I'll just show you the two blazers because those are the two pieces that I really felt that I needed in my wardrobe and I feel that they are perfect for winter. And of course, when you're going to spring and it gets a bit um, warmer, but we still have the cool mornings or the cool evenings, you, these blazers are going to be perfect. And I bought a skirt and all these three items are neutrals so they definitely gonna mix and match easily with other pieces that I already own and what I will say though is that I'm a little bit disappointed I just realized that one of these blazers is actually torn and I actually didn't notice this when I bought this blazer and I tried it on and I didn't notice that the blazer was torn so unfortunately I'm going to have to return it but if they don't have um, another blazer sorry about that if they don't have a blazer it's just a reminder <laughs> um, if they don't have another blazer like I said I'm just probably gonna have to weigh up the pros and cons whether I'm gonna take it to my alterations lady and have it sewn or whether I'm going to ask them to reduce the price or whether I'm just gonna return it but that's all left to be seen anyway guys without further ado let's get straight into this video let's start with this beautiful leopard print skirt it's got an elasticated waist as you can see elasticated waist and I love these pleats and underneath we have a lining so that is always really good I know that the skirt won't be see-through because it's got that lining and let's see how much this costs this skirt is from Dotty and I'm right it's a size 6 the original selling price was $59.95 but I got it for $30 so that was a real good buy and I know that Dottie's clothes are really um, good quality and I know that the skirt is going to be a great investment piece in my wardrobe so there you have it and we all know that leopard print is a neutral and these colors are just beautiful next we have this beautiful blazer it's double breasted with the beautiful gold buttons I absolutely love this blazer it looks like the expensive ones now I stand to be corrected I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce this word so before you guys have a go at me I think the designer blazer this is like a dupe of the designer blazer and I think that blazer is called a Balmain or Balmain I'm not sure how you pronounce that word but that is a very expensive blazer and this is a similar style to that kind of blazer and I know I'd never be able to afford that blazer but this is really a good buy and like I said it's double breasted and it's got the little button in the inside to secure the blazer when it's tied the button inside so you can secure the blazer when you buttoning it and then we have on the sleeves we have the three buttons as well 
and with me because I'm petite all my clothes always need to be hemmed or shortened at the sleeves but I guess that will do I'll just pull the sleeves up because it looks good when it's styled anyway and this blazer is from Dotty and I paid $89.95 for this blazer and it's a size 6 I'm not very sure about the fit I think I'm going to have to wear a little belt to cinch the waist in a little bit I'm a bit uncertain but I think it looks really beautiful nonetheless it's when you buy clothes that you're not styles that you're not used to and for me I definitely don't wear double breasted blazers because it's not very very sorry it's not very flattering when you have um, when you are uh, an inverted triangle sorry for that but I normally steer clear of double breasted blazers or jackets or tops because I have a bigger chest I like to normally buy clothes or jackets with smaller lapels and that are a bit more open but I think this is beautiful and it'll work and I love this, these false pockets. That is also a beautiful feature of this blazer. And like I said, it looks like the expensive one, the Balmain or Balmain, whatever, whichever way you pronounce it, depends where you come from. And then at the back, it's got this little slit. It's got a slit at the back, which I haven't opened yet. But this blazer is going to look beautiful with jeans and styled with over a dress so it's a very versatile piece and being cream it's just a lovely color a lovely neutral color and then you have my second blazer which i bought from portman's and this is in the color tan this blazer cost me $99.95 it says it's a rugby tan well whatever that is and it's a size 6 as well and it's also got these beautiful gold buttons also double breasted and it has a little button in the inside as well that you can fasten to make sure that the blazer doesn't move when you've got it on and it's also got false pockets and like I said I'm not a big fan of double breasted blazers and I don't tend to buy them because I'm an inverted triangle and I just think that they don't flatter my body shape but yeah and if you don't know what an inverted triangle is, I'm big on the top and small at the bottom. So I normally try to buy blazers with smaller lapels, like I've said previously. But this blazer is just beautiful. And it's also got the gold buttons. So yeah, this is going to be the first for me, wearing a double-breasted blazer. I love this colour and like I said, both these blazers and that skirt are in neutral colors and this one's also got the little opening at the back the little slit at the back absolutely beautiful so now that I've shown you my haul I've shown you what I bought I bought the two blazers and I bought the leopard skirt and they're all neutrals I'm going to show you how I'm going to be styling my Gucci belt but remember I can't show you all the ways I'll style it however I will be styling this these pieces differently and I'll be posting it on my Instagram so if you're not already following me please follow me on Instagram I'm style Queenzilla but before I show you um, how I'm going to style this belt the Gucci belt I'm just going to talk a little bit about my um, belt and the sizing I if you've watched my previous video my Gucci belt unboxing sorry if I'm fumbling a bit today and I'm deliberately not editing this out because I think that you know what life is not perfect and when I talk to my friend I don't speak perfectly I do make mistakes and I do fumble over my words 
So please bear with me. Coming back to my Gucci belt, if you've watched my Gucci belt unboxing, you'll re realize that I bought the wrong size. It was an 80 centimeter and I actually really needed a 70 centimeter. But now that I've got my new belt, I'm really happy with the sizing and I'll suggest that you take your time when you purchase the belt and also a very important note I want to make when you purchase the belt and you're gonna buy it online just be really careful and this is something I talked about in my Gucci belt unboxing as well and please make sure to keep watching this video to the end because I'm gonna share a little video of something that I was talking about in that unboxing video when I was sharing my Gucci belt unboxing now I've said everything that I want to say and I think we should just get on with the styling of this belt and I'm going to show you some of the ways that I'm going to style this belt. I talked about the posties leaving parcels in the foyer next to the letter boxes and how dangerous this is because people can just walk into this building or people that are living in this building could just walk off with these parcels and what people don't understand is that cameras can capture people's faces but identifying them and catching them is a different story well guys i hope you've enjoyed my winter haul over 40 and gucci belt styling if you've enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and press the little bell so you can be notified every time i upload a video